stars. They've become such a familiar backdrop of our day-to-day -day life that it's easy to forget what they mean. That one. That little dot right there. That's Bremen. This one over here? That's Saul. Think about that. Just a handful of these dots represents the breadth of human expansion. Another handful, and you've got Bannon, Jean, even Van Duel systems. That's everything we've ever known. Every piece of art, every life ever, right there, in two handfuls of dots. And that means there's so much more to find. Behind every one of those points of light is a story waiting to be discovered. Now in our distant past, it was the promise of governments to explore and understand space. The simple launch took resources and money beyond the capacity of even the largest companies. But then RSI introduced the Zeus, and suddenly regular people were able to explore our solar system allowing an unprecedented amount of knowledge to be discovered. When Nick Croshaw discovered the first jump point, the modified scanner array that allowed him to search for jump points were far too expensive for the civilian market. But once that technology was refined and open to the public, what happened? That's right, an era of expansion that led us from this to this. And that's how it's always been. If you look at all the great eras of human history, whenever innovation has put technology in the hands of the people, it has heralded sweeping discoveries. Because power in the hands of many will always exceed the power of few. So while we can now discover new jump points and systems, there's still one hurdle that remains. That's what to do once you discover a new planet. Because right now, only the largest corporations can terraform and establish settlements. Easy. <laughs> we haven't simplified terraforming. Yet. No, I I'm here to announce something equally exciting. Albert Einstein. The man who redefined human understanding of the universe. He once said, the person who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The person who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever seen before. An insightful sentiment meant to inspire thinkers and creators to push the boundaries of their understanding. It was, after all, said a thousand years ago, before humanity had left our home world. So clearly he was speaking metaphorically. Today, as I just showed you, the unknown is out there, waiting to be discovered. For those that are looking for those places that no one has seen before, they are faced with a daunting challenge. What do you do when you get there? Up until now, it's been the province of governments and corporations to pave the way for sustained habitation. The power has been in the hands of the few. What if I offered you the ability to build your own settlement. To bring civilization to the most untamed of frontiers. A colony ship in the truest sense of the word. And I'm not talking about just transporting people, no. I'm talking about an all-in-one solution designed to build modular structures based on your needs. Capable of building a farm or a habitat, a trading post or a mining operation. I mean, that'd be crazy, right? Allow me to introduce the Pioneer. that the new age of colonization begins.